Good morning and welcome. It's a Monday morning for you guys. Oh, <clears throat> Monday morning is the worst. Although, wait a second. Well, Monday morning in the U.S. It's uh, Monday evening in Ireland. So, um, hope Monday has been good for you guys. <sighs> I'm addicted to soothers. <laughs> I remember years ago, I used to eat these all the time. And I got so, like, oh my god, like, they're so tasty. Because <clears throat> they were least, like... What is it? I don't know what it is, but it's like it's a really pleasant experience because they're so like, um, I don't know, relieving or something. So uh, Nina feels better today, which is good. Not like she doesn't, she's not better, but um, she feels an improvement. You know, that's the way I always wage it. Like, you know, what's your improvement? I was improving at about like 20% per day. So it took me like this amount of time and I'm still like, I'm probably like, this is probably the end now of it, you know, but um, Nini's is definitely getting better each day. Oh, all the traffic here. I forgot, because there's a church nearby, and if you don't get out before the church traffic, you get caught in it. So uh, I'm going to go up to Tesco and get the sort of supplies for the day. I keep meaning to wash the car, and then I hear the weather's going to be bad, so I don't bother, because I don't want to wash the car, and then find the car is going to be all like messed up again straight away, and I'll be like, gosh darn it, why did I even bother washing the car? These are really tasty. You should definitely check these out. If you do eat them, what's your flavor? What's your flavor? What's your flavor? I like the, uh, I'm prone to strawberry. Strawberry. You can get the, like, um, what flavor is it? Like the syrupy one, you know, they're kind of like, no, no frills, the Ryanair ones. Um, they're okay. You know, they're, they're no frills. They're exactly as it says on the tin. You can get the black currant ones, which I find mm, a little harsh and stuff, but the strawberry ones are geschmeckt. Absolutely yum. Right, oh, I got Nina to write me a list. I don't know, I just function better. When she hands me a, a shopping list, I find it easier just to follow the list. If I have to, if I, if she just says, I'll get these few things, like, then I'm not following a list. It's, it's a lot difficult, you know, you end up straying, you, you end up down aisles, so you're not, so what are you doing down that aisle? And then all of a sudden you got your trolley full of stuff that you don't even want. Whereas if you get yourself a list, <laughs> it's just so much easier. Cause I'm like, just like, yeah, I just, I'm a robot. I'm a robot. I just follow my list like a good robot. All right, this is what we're after. Well, I'm probably gonna get strawberries cause it's a Sunday. So, stop one. All right, PP pads in the bag. Um, I'm gonna try and I'm gonna try and do this so that I, I work around in a certain order, so I end up not having to backtrack, which is probably impossible. <laughs> oh, what is this stuff? I don't know how Anna knows all this stuff, but she just seems to naturally like know loads of information. Maybe she asked her mom and stuff. Cause I'm like, I wouldn't have a clue. Like if someone just gave, okay, I know now, but. Before we even got pregnant, like if someone just like handed me this, I'd be like, follow on milk, first infant milk, infant milk digest, toddler milk, extra hungry milk. What? <laughs> because I wasn't raising this stuff. I only had um I had the boob. I was brought up on the boob. So maybe that's why I don't know. But um it's very complicated. What is Dove Summer Glow? And how would I find it? Hmm. Here? Yeah? No. Is it a fake tan or is it a moisturizer? I just can't see Dove somewhere below. Here? Yeah? I just cannot see it. Well, that sucks, so I've already failed. Ooh, deodorant. Cool kick. That's what Josie uses. Uh, oh no, maybe they're not making anymore. I mean, this is not gonna be happy with that. And this stuff here. Oh, bingo! 
summer glow. What's the difference? Deep care, subtle gradual, normal to dark, fair to normal. Normal to dark. Bingo. Coffee wasn't on the list, but I just remembered it. Also wasn't on the list, but it's too good of a deal. Doctor. Uh, is that it? More PV pads on the left. Yeah, that's it. I have achieved my tasks. And as always, never go shopping without buying one of these because. It's always needed. And I think that's it. Pretty much. Um, that's the I like cucumber, dog, fucky, pea pads, almond milk, strawberries. Yeah, see how much faster it is? If I didn't have the list, I'd be wandering in here for hours. Insert cash or select pay. Please right. insert your card into the chip and pin device. Oh, crap. Oh, I just realized we have no bags. <laughs> No, we have to swap it all in here. <laughs> well, this is annoying. <laughs> uh, so when I get home, now I'm gonna have to go in and get bags first. We should give the uh, puppies plenty of time to cause some sort of a disruption in my life. Fantastic. Well done, Jofi. <laughs> all right, let's get some coffee on the go. Cup that on the go. Do you want a cuppa? Probably not. No thanks. You're a little bit better. It's gonna happen. Poor Nevis. Feel really sorry for you. I'll tell you what. I'll take over for the pregnancy if you want. Okay? Give me that. Uh, just unhatch it. <laughs> take it off. Eight months pregos, eh? Tomorrow. We just basically today for the guys. Yeah. Eight months pregs, guys. Oh my god. Doesn't that sound like. What's after eight? Nine. Nine months. That's it. That's it then. I'm having a baba. I'm the baba. It's so scary the closer you get to it because like you start thinking like, oh my god, like you hear you know, you hear stories about different things going wrong and you know, a friend of ours just recently went through a tragedy and it's like you know, you start getting more and more like scared, you know? Like we're going to our GP on Monday and then we're going to our OB on Friday. Yeah. You know, we're constantly seeing them for the next month, like all the time, but still, like, yeah. I think just being sick as well, it sucks, like, you know, and the tiredness, and I feel really sorry for your knees. But everything's gonna be okay. You're gonna be a trooper. You're gonna push that thing out. <laughs> One, two, three, do it. <laughs> so, where'd you be? It's like if you coughing can induce labor where water broke. Imagine, like. Oh, yeah. <laughs> There's so many stories out there. There's so many wise tales. What do they call it? Like just made yeah. up stuff like that. It's like, it's like if you listen to all of it, you'd be driven insane. The brain and the membrane. All right, for the fourth day in a row, fifth day in a row, Jofi's going salmon from Holland 
Mozzarella from... I have absolutely no idea. Where does this mozzarella come from? Yeah, right. I don't believe it. Then I have absolutely no idea. Oh yeah, Italy. Yeah. Okay, cool. And where did the Dr. Utgars come from? Germany. Oh no, these aren't Dr. Utgars. Food Doctor. Oh. Food Doctor London. Oh. Alright, London, Holland and Italy. That's what I'm having for lunch. <laughs> Oh, mommy came over with cinnamon buns for me. Oh, oh that was nice. You're sick. You can't have cinnamon buns. What? Cinnamon is so good for you when you're under the weather. Yeah, I have it actually in my breakfast. We're all under the weather, right? Because like the weather's above us. <laughs> so Roger Federer is going to win. Oh, I said Andy Murray should win. No. Just because it would be fun no. to see everyone at home, you no, know. No, no. Someone from Ireland should win. Somebody. Get your tennis racket out. I'll enter next year. Do you remember that film, Wimbledon? That was good. I think that was an English guy who was in the final. In the film. Oh. But that was made up. Because it was the film. I didn't see. Did you know that? Oh. Did you see Wimbledon? I thought that was good. So, this is day five, I think. Five of being sick. And... It sucks. <laughs> I hate being sick. So I'm going to the doctor tomorrow. Bianca's talking to me right now. <laughs> I'm going to the doctor tomorrow and um, then we're going to our OB on Friday. So yeah, because I have this like chesty cough as well as like this cold that just is not going away. And it seems like none of the drugs I'm taking are working because they're not like, you know, they're not the ones that I'm used to. Jofus gets to take these, which have a thousand mg, and these are the ones that I'm allowed to take, and they only have 500. How many do I have left? One, two. That should be enough. Okay. So I take like three of them a day, and it's just not doing, it doesn't seem to be doing anything, because usually I'll be better by now. But anyways, it sucks. Um, so we tried, because um, we're trying to train the puppies, obviously, to pee outside and they're doing so well they're like only how old are they now 14 weeks i think 13 or 14 weeks i can i keep forgetting and already they're primarily peeing outside like when the weather's nice obviously the door is open and they can go outside but hi theo good boy um today we made this little like um we did this little test and we did not put a pee pee pad down. We just had the door open because it was kind of, well, it wasn't nice today. It was not raining. Now it is raining. Um, so we had the door open all day long and we had no pee pee pad. So that was the rule. It was like, you know, if the door is open and the garden is there for them at their disposal, then we won't put a pee pee pad down. And nobody peed inside. Nobody. They all peed and pooped and whatever outside. So that was amazing especially for how young they are. And then um, they had a little nap. We closed the doors because it's getting kind of cold. And we closed the doors for like a couple of hours and we put a PP pad down, which Bianca has now on, and there's only one, only one PP. -pee. So that is very good, Nivea. <laughs> Somebody was like um, asking me on I can't remember, was it Facebook or Twitter? How do I tell them apart? Um, just, it's the same way as like, how do parents tell their kids apart, or like their twins apart, or like their, like, I don't know, anything like that. You just always, if you're the owner or like the parent or whatever, it's obvious, but to others, maybe not. But it's just because we are so familiar with them. So Theo is obviously the boy, so he has a little extra something <laughs> underneath him. That is to tell us that he is a boy, but if you can't tell from that Because you can't obviously just pick him up all the time. That's what we used to do when they were really small um, He's the biggest you can tell he's a boy versus them because he's just big and chubby And he looks like a boy, you know, I don't know he does to us anyways Then Nuvala is the smallest one. She also has one apricot ear Nivea, her ears are back now, so you can't even see. 
Nivea has two apricot ears, which are always like really flopsy. She's so cute. And she looks the most like Albie. And then Bianca has an underbite, I think. Is it an underbite or an overbite? No, an underbite is where her, yeah, her bottom jaw is kind of like slightly like this. It's so cute. Bianca. You probably can't tell now, but she does have one, and she just has a very distinctive face, and she's the loudest as well. See, that's Nuvalee's right there, because she's so cute and small. So yeah, they are super good. So I'm gonna make um, dinner now, because it's almost seven o'clock. So, Jofus mentioned pasta, but I think I need to use a pepper. And, um, which one is it? Our veggies always go off because there's just not enough people to cook for. And we always buy too much. Like this needs to go. But I keep using little bits of it. Hoping that I can salvage some of it. So I don't know. It kind of needs to go though. Okay, so I'm going to do... I'm hoping this pepper is all right. That's why I'm doing them. I'm doing fajitas because I know this pepper is going to go off if I don't. So, pepper. Um, I got some whole grain. Oh, these aren't the ones. Wholemeal tortillas, but that's not the one I was talking about. Um, we got some new ones, which are in this crazy cupboard, which I hate so much. Because it's always just like full. Oh yeah, I can see them back there. But um, I'm going to have to switch this off because otherwise I won't be able to end my two hands. Oh, these are really good by the way. In case you're wondering. We got them yesterday. They are so good. They have um, raisins in them. Oh my god. And they actually taste like apple pie. Yummy. Okay, so. What's going on? What's going on, guys? So the fajitas are cooking, well, what's going to go inside our fajitas is cooking. So we have some fake chicken, some peppers, and um, we're going to add the sauce later. And then I have the tortillas in there. They are heating up. Oh, what was that? What was that, Theo? What was that? Is that hot? You need to be careful. And that's about it. It's very easy. So now we're going to set the table. Do you guys want to help me set the table? They hate when we eat here because they can't reach. So they, well, they can't reach the coffee table either, but here it's harder for them to beg. So they don't really particularly like when we eat at the kitchen table because it's so high up. They can't see food. But Mommy and Daddy prefer eating here because they don't get um, their food stolen by like Sina, for example. Sina is tall enough to reach the coffee table. Plus, I prefer eating at the kitchen table anyways. Um, I just think it's better. And I think if there were more in our family, like when we have kids and stuff, we'll definitely eat at the kitchen table. But it's just so like, you know when there's only two of you, it's so easy to just like you know, eat in front of the TV or just like be more cash about it, but um, I definitely think it's nice to just like take the time to eat at the kitchen table. So let me know what you did growing up. Like, did you eat at the kitchen table? We always did. My parents always made a point of like family time or meal time was like family time. And I think it's a good thing. But let me know what you think. I think it's important. Oh my goodness, it smells so good. Oh, thanks a bunch. Thanks a munch bunch. Thanks a bunch of munches. I love a good bunch of a munch. I love a good bunch of a munch. I do. I love a good bunch of a munch. I do. Ooh, will I bring them over for you? Yeah. It's the least I could do, Ninis. Excuse me. Excuse me, wild herd of little animals. Yum, yum. Do you want me to get you some water? Um, oh, yeah. Yeah. From my bottle. Near yeah, a bottle. The allocated botulium. B -b botulium! So, uh, Federer won the golf. Oh, really? We were, uh, yeah, because we were thinking, like, I uh, was saying on Twitter, I was like, oh, when will Andy win? Because I think it was 1937 
It's that, not golf. I know it's not golf, Denise. Oh. In 1937, uh, Fred won, and he was like the last time someone from um, United Kingdom or Scotland or Wales or Ireland, anyone like that, like he was from the UK, actually won. So uh, it would have been a big deal if he had won, but uh, Farah, Fahad, Fahad and Fazul won. So that's the end of that dream. Hello, Andy's from Scotland, so which is kind of like from Ireland because we're very similar. So we kind of could have said like, oh look, he's from Ireland, you know, but um, that dream, that dream's over. On to the Olympics next month. It's next month, right? I think it's next month. Oh, do you guys watch the Olympics? Uh, to be honest, I probably won't. Because, <laughs> um, I don't know, I'm not really a good, uh, I don't really like watching sport. I love like participating in sport. But I've never really been interested in actually sitting there and watching it, you know? It's not as much fun as, as doing it. Oh, buddy, oh, buddy, life goes on. That's the way they we go. Blow, 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 blow. Oh, buddy, oh, buddy, life goes on. I'll be, I'll be singing the song with me, I'll be. Alberto, I'll be, uh. The dog is wet. Why is your dog's face wet? I don't know why my dog's face is wet. But my dog's face is wet. His dog's face is wet. My dog's face is wet. My dog's face is wet. Look at this. Special offer of one euro. Fig rolls. Starry boot. Starry boot. I have some dry figs. Like, is this dude like the fig roll man? Look at him. Hell yeah. Would you ever buy me fig roll? Or a bitch! A bitch and a bitch and a bitch and a bitch! Come on, Abby. Do you want to stay here? Whoa. Whoa, Abby. Life is out of focus. This is so awesome. This is a show. Hold on. Hey, it's not pausing. <sighs> How awesome. So this is a show, uh, which was recorded a couple of months ago. Do you remember we were doing stuff um, a while ago with a film crew? Well, they filmed this and they were telling us about this. It's actually, they filmed this in the same place that we're actually um, going to be giving birth. It's in the same maternity hospital, which is really cool. So we're actually going to see exactly the place. Isn't that so cool? Like, we'll see the rooms, we'll see everything. Excuse you! Excuse you! Or just put her out if she wants to play. Hmm? How awesome is that? <laughs> I think it's so cool. Like, how often do you actually get to see, like, uh, a reality show? I don't know what it is, a documentary type of show? In the maternity hospital, with the midwives and everything that you're going to see in a month's time. Because we're eight months today, which means that in one month's time... Two months. What? Oh yeah, I'll kind of sound it better. I say one, but yeah, but we're nine months in eight months, and in one month we're nine months, mm -hmm. which is like, you never know. I know. In a month's time, huh? We could actually put this thing to use. Are you excited? Hey guys, and thanks for watching another episode of the Zaconi Jolie. And don't forget to like the video and favorite the video because that will be awesome. <laughs>